Hey everybody. I think I have a hair on my face, y'all. It's driving me crazy. Real time, remember, real time when, when I'm videoing. I am going to uh, cut up a whole chicken. See my, see my chicken in my pan? I'm gonna cut up a whole chicken and uh, fry in my electric skillet. I got uh, the vegetable shortening uh, getting uh, warm and I'm fixing to cut this chicken up and I have my assistant, y'all see my Brindley star and uh, see over here on my, on my tablet. We're watching uh, live with uh, Miss Tammy and Danny Hodges. I'm waiting to see her surprise y'all. Waiting to see her surprise. It's raining, raining, raining here. Now, let me see if I can get this adjusted where y'all can see what I'm doing. I sharpened my knife, my hands are clean. Don't everybody be panicking about salmonella and me contaminating everything. Since I'm almost 65 and I've done this since I was, y'all, I remember doing this back when I was like eight, nine years old. Uh, eight or nine years old. I probably need a bigger pan. But I didn't have one. I didn't have one. We're going to go right here in between that joint of that leg and that thigh. See that? Got it cut in two. Now I'm going to go over here and take this other leg off. Nice, it's really sharp, y'all. I sure don't want. To, I sure don't want to cut myself. Uh, I didn't even know what buying a chicken already cut up was. I was probably in my twenty. Every chicken, which was weekly, several times a week, when I was growing up. We're gonna cut that tail off there. Put it over in a scrap pile. I took one wing off before I started to make sure my knife was uh make sure my knife was sharp. <clears throat> we gonna take that little that little part off right there. That ain't good for nothing but to season soup. And any of the parts that you don't want to cook, uh, you could keep to uh, just make some broth with. <clears throat> Cut this other wing in two. Y'all, I do know how to go back and sanitize my kitchen and my, and my sink and all that stuff, so don't everybody be freaking out about me touching something else. But I don't plan on touching anything till I turn this water on to, to, uh, okay, this is the back, the back piece. Just broke it in two like that. <clears throat> Y'all remember the pulley bone? Y'all ever pull the pulley bone when you was a kid? Make a wish under the table? Well, there's your pulley bone piece. That's got your pulley bone in it. Off the breast. And here's the here's the breast. We're just going to take this fat stuff. Fat stuff off there. I'm going to go right up the middle of that cartilage. And we're going to try to get this back boy to break right here. And this may not be the way y'all do it, y'all, but this is this is how I do it. That's just how I do it. And there is your cut up chicken. Just like that. Just like that. And I'm gonna wash it. I always wash my chicken, y'all. I don't care. I don't care if I buy chicken fillets chicken chicken strips. I don't care what I buy y'all, I wash my chicken. Cause uh 
we don't know exactly where that chicken's been. And I'll go back with bleach and bleach my sink out. And uh, I'll wash this pan and then it'll go in the dishwasher. And uh, Brindley, baby, there ain't nothing up here for you. Your mom ain't got no carrots or nothing up here. But I just washed my chicken real good, y'all. My great aunt showed me to do that when I was a kid. Lord have mercy, she would wash chicken till I didn't think we was ever gonna get to eat lunch. I think, how many times is she gonna wash that chicken? But y'all, she didn't put it in no pan, she put it in her sink. She had cleaned that sink. My mom's aunt, I've watched her do it many times. She had cleaned that sink. And she had stopped that sink up and she had put that chicken in that sink. And Lord have mercy, she would wash it and wash it. Well, I think she is going to wash it away. But I'm going to tell you what, we had some good chicken when I'd go to her house. I miss them so much. All the. I'm just draining the water out of it, y'all. Draining the water. I'm fixing to wash my hands, and I'm going to get my, I got my bag over here with my uh, cornmeal, and uh, I have four big scoops of cornmeal. This scoop, this scoop, like heaping, heaping scoops. I put cornmeal, four cornmeal, and three flour. And I know it's unusual to put cornmeal for fried chicken. I like the cornmeal taste. If you just want flour, you just put flour. If you have some other kind of seasoning mix. Uh, but I've had people eat my chicken and they ask me if I use fish fry because <laughs> it's a cornmeal. But uh, it's a little bit more cornmeal than uh, flour and I have uh, I have a garlic salt a lot of garlic salt in in the flour and meal mixture I have ginger I have turmeric I have soul food seasoning which is a lot of different seasonings y'all <laughs> Brindley, stop. It's uh, salt, paprika, uh, coriander, cayenne pepper, black pepper, garlic, celery salt, and cumin. Oh, sorry, y'all. I didn't realize I dropped the... And I put extra onion powder. And I think I put it back in the cabinet, y'all. I had some... Um, Oh, bear with me. Let me. I had some smoked paprika and I put it back up in this spice cabinet. And now it's probably lost forever, y'all. It's probably lost forever. Here it is. I wasn't thinking when I put it back. Smoked paprika. So all that is in our cornmeal flour mixture. Remember this big scoop? I don't know how much. Y'all, this is old. Old. My friend gave it to me and it is fits perfect. Y'all can see my see my uh, well, maybe you can't. See my canisters here? That's my cornmeal, my uh, stevia, rice, uh, flour, and sugar. And this thing is the perfect scoop when I'm cooking, I love it. It's one of my favorite things. And I have these old measuring cups and I keep them over here with that, y'all. And it, it, they're perfect, absolutely perfect. Uh, I think I bought those at a garage sale or something. And uh, when I got them, I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with them. I liked them because they was old and they was cheap. Okay, back to the chicken. Okay, there's our chicken, and y'all see that water while I was talking? Well, hang on. See that water in there? I'm letting, kind of letting that drain. 
That's why I was killing a little time. And we're gonna drain that off. Hopefully y'all can see that, y'all, because I had to put this way down low and I can't, I can't uh, see under there. I can't see the front of the phone. Okay, let me wash my hands one more time before I start grabbing this stuff over here. Okay, we're gonna put some uh, smoked paprika. I'm just going to use one hand and my other hand's clean, holding my holding my spice, y'all. Try not to contaminate everything up. Smoked paprika. Oh, it smells good, too. Okay, we got my turmeric. Y'all, I'm hungry. I can't wait till this is done. I don't know exactly what I'm going to have with it. Um... Uh, my soul food seasoning. Soul food seasoning. <clears throat> Y'all, I can't have enough garlic. I love garlic. I love roasted garlic. I love garlic in everything. I'm seasoning my hand up too, Raina. That's all right. That's all right. Now, had to open that with my arm. This is my uh, pink Himalayan salt. I just keep it in a pint, uh, pint jar, mason jar. That's my salt. And y'all, I'm touching everything with my clean hand. Okay, this is our black pepper. Gotta have some black pepper. But we got, we seasoned the flour and cornmeal mixture because we didn't want the seasoning bland and the chicken spicy. We want it all spicy. We want everything spicy. Okay, let me wash my hand one more time. Make sure my, y'all, I use a nail brush all the time. I don't know if y'all can see, but y'all can probably hear. I'm washing my hands. And I, I have a nail brush over here. And I have one in both bathrooms. And I use a nail brush all the time. Especially since I quit wearing acrylic nails, y'all. It's like the, you know, I gotta make sure I don't have the germs. And I have my banana Strawberry smoothie I'm drinking, y'all. Oh, it's really good. Had to get some of that. Oh. We was talking about apple drinks, a few of us, on the Hodges channel. This is my apple soda that I love. I get it at uh, Kroger, our local Kroger grocery store. Apple soda is really, really good, y'all, if y'all have never had it. Um... But Paula and uh, Larry, we was talking about it. Y'all, I'm checking my, uh, checking my shortening to make sure it's getting warm over here. Okay, now I'm gonna put my chicken. I'm just gonna put it all in here so I don't have to keep touching this. This chicken, y'all, I don't really like touching it. It's, it's pretty gross stuff. Pretty gross. I'll have to make sure and put some lotion on my hands after all this. After all this, uh, washing my hands with this. This water's pretty hot, y'all. It's burning my hands. It's burning my hands. Woo! Yeah, that's getting warm. That's getting pretty warm. And Brinley's over here just begging. She's just begging for something. Y'all, hopefully I ain't... Y'all see this frizzy hair? That's from the rain. I'm, I'm doing this because I can see it out my window. It's pouring off the roof. Okay. Shake it off. 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 Sh
shake and bake, y'all. No, just kidding. Not shake and bake. Y'all could bake it, though. Y'all could bake it if you wanted to. Uh, shake it up real good. And I like doing this better than one piece at a time and getting that all over your hands. I don't mind getting my hands dirty, though, y'all, because I'm always working outside. But Uh-oh. My bag come open. Thank goodness it was by the sink. Okay, let me get her seal back up. Mm -hmm. Shake it up real good. Shake it up real good. Y'all, I got something on my screen. I think it's water. Okay, let me get these spices. Let me get y'all turned around here. Y'all hang on. Did you take your seasickness medicine? Y'all didn't know I was going to shake you up today, did you? I'll get my spices back up in my cabinet. Lord, how mercy. I've got everything twisted around here. Now nothing wants to fit back. Y'all, my grits. I just saw my grits over here. My grits. I may make some cheese grits to go with my chicken. That sounds good, don't it? I was thinking about maybe some fried corn. I got some corn in the freezer. Okay, y'all. Let's do a little, little testy piece here and see. See if we're... I don't think it's quite warm enough yet, y'all. If y'all if y'all take a match, which I have some somewhere, and drop a match in this grease, and that match lights, it's to the perfect temperature. For years, that's how I fried my fish. I had an old man show me that years ago. And uh, if you put that match on this oil, or well, this is shortening, peanut oil or whatever you fry your fish in, Put a match on it. When that match lights, it'll spark up and go right out. It won't. It won't catch the shortening on fire like a lot of people think. It will not, y'all. I've done it a million times. You'll have more trouble with putting the fish in the pan and it boiling over on the on the flame and catching something on fire. Now I've had to take salt many days, put a fire out, put a fire out like that. That's kind of scary. That's scary, but I've done it, y'all, in the house, not just outside. I mean, I'm talking about on my stove. I'm talking about on my stove would be, y'all, I'm trying to find a big fork. <laughs> Oh, that's looking good. Sunday fried chicken with all my friends. I'm so glad y'all are here with me and I'm cooking for y'all today. I just wish y'all was here where you could really get some of it. I love having my friends over and cooking. And I don't get to do much of that anymore, y'all. And this whole chicken should fit right in here. It should fit, y'all. In my electric skillet. And I've got it on 400. And uh, it's cooking. And I could have did a few pieces at a time. And probably would if I wasn't making a video. Um. But for sake of time, and y'all watching, I'm gonna put it in there all at one time. Of course, that brought the temperature down, so we're gonna have to wait and let the temperature come back up a little bit. Now, who would have ever thought, watching chicken fry, <laughs> that there would actually be people in YouTube land that would watch that? It's just about, just about cool. My shortening down too cool, y'all. It'll come back up, though. 
We'll just have to give it time. We'll just have to visit and talk. And uh, give it time to get hot again. And it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So y'all have a good Sunday morning. Y'all go to church. Y'all, homemade gravy would be good with this too. I love to make cornmeal gravy. Hey, Brinley, there ain't nothing up here for you, baby. How about some uh, blueberries? How about some blueberries for a snack? Will that be okay? Oh, she loves blueberries, y'all. Brinley loves blueberries. Y'all want to see Greenly get blueberries while the chicken's frying? Thank you, Mama. That's so good, blueberries. She loves blueberries, y'all. Oh, them is so good. Tell everybody in YouTube land, say hi. Thanks for watching my mama. And thanks for watching my mama. Well, I hope y'all had a... Um had a good Sunday. Probably most of y'all gonna watch, uh, probably be watching football or something this evening. If somebody's over that wants to watch it, I watch it, but other than that, I don't. I like to go to the high school games and I like to go to the SFA games and, uh, stop it. Stop being silly. Y'all, I'm watching Miss Tammy. And listening to Danny, I know a lot of y'all are watching too. Y'all will watch my video later. <laughs> Brinley Star, let's don't get too verbal. Let let's don't let's don't get too verbal. Y'all, it's still raining. I'm looking out the window. Come on, Grease, you need to heat on up now. So my chicken will get brown. So my chicken will get brown. Y'all see, y'all see I'm still watching Miss Tammy and Danny's talking. She's talking about, about her name is finally on the channel, y'all. That's good. I understand why they didn't uh, make her one, y'all. She would have had to have got monetized. I think she could have done it real quick, but Danny's channel was already up and running, so... So it's uh, it's okay that they share one. I really enjoyed the first one she did when her and Stephen prayed for everybody and stuff. I really enjoyed that one. But uh, I know she still prays, but uh, the the channel's really not what I thought it was going to be in the beginning when it first started. I mean, I like it. I ain't, I ain't saying I don't like it. Don't get me wrong, but I just thought it would kind of be different by the, the way it started off. But I still love them. They're, they're my favorite family. I have a lot of people on YouTube I follow, but I don't follow any, any families. Um, uh, for those of you that don't know, the Hodges, um, Danny and Tammy, and their son Stephen, and it all started with uh, Danny's mom, Helen Wyatt. Uh, I followed her for years and years and years. She did crafts, and now she's gotten older, had COVID, and uh, they just kind of turned it into a sit and visit have coffee and visit with her kind of format which is still good um, they still do some projects around the house uh, her and her grandson which is always hilarious that's Steven he's a mess y'all that's Steven he's a comedian yeah really he's a comedian yeah he's a funny guy He's comical and always gets Miss Helen going and gets me tickled. 
he gets me tickled, I'm telling you. And she is just naturally funny to me. Uh, she reminds me of one of my old friends that passed away from colon cancer. It's just like everything she says is funny. She don't mean it to be, you know, but it's funny. Uh-oh, Brinley wants to play with her toy, y'all. She said, Mama, you were talking, talking to that phone again. You have lost your mind. And I'm over here not getting no attention. But, baby, we watching chicken fry. We watching chicken fry. Saying chickens. Let me go look out the back door. If the chickens are up, we can go look at them while that chicken's cooking. chicken cooks a minute. Let's go out on the back porch. We'll go out on the back porch, y'all. And here's Sister Kitty and, and Greenlee on the porch. There's Sister Kitty, my one-eyed pirate kitty. And there's Greenlee Star, the star of YouTube. Y'all, let me see if I can get this Get this around here where y'all can see them. Can y'all see them out there? Them old guineas hollering. Country life, y'all. It's real time at Gigi's house. Real time. Yep. Yep, y'all see it raining? The pan over there's got chicken feed in it. That chicken's over there eating it, y'all, and it's full of water. I guess she'll have gravy, huh? <laughs> she'll have gravy. Gravy with her chicken feed. When I put that feed out this morning, I didn't know it was going to rain anymore. I usually put it where it stays dry, up in their building or something. And I didn't today, but they don't mind being out in the rain. I'm going to hear them guineas. They over there in that pen. They over there in that pen. Well, let's walk back in here. I'll see out across my, at my sister's house over there. See out across my, my place. Come on, Brindley. Come on, baby. Let's go check on the, those ducks. Y'all hear them? They're just talking. Y'all, they ain't no telling what y'all might see around here. Oh, look at that. It's browning up. It's cooking, y'all. It's just taking a while. Some of y'all may stay to the end, and some of you may not hang in there, but it's just going to take time for it to cook. So I'm just going to keep on talking until it gets done. Yeah, that's right, Greenlee. And Brinley's gonna have fried chicken and uh and maybe cheese grits. Mom might cook cheese grits. Yeah. That'd be good with chicken. Yeah, and mama's got waffles. We could have waffles. <gasps> we might have blueberry waffles. That sounds good. Y'all, when I do this, I may lay down and take a nap. <laughs> I get up early in the morning, and by this time of day, I'm tired. I don't even know what time it is, y'all. A little after one, probably a little after one o'clock. Probably a little after one o'clock. I'll show y'all my book. I see it laying over here on the table. If y'all like to read, this is a great book, y'all. I've had this book 20 years or so. And uh, when they diagnosed me with uh, 
whatever it was, I don't say. I don't, I don't talk about it. I don't claim it. I rebuked it immediately. And uh, my pastor at the time asked me if I'd ever heard of this book. And I told him no. And uh, he decided he'd do a class on uh, healing. And uh, he gave me his book to read. And I enjoyed it so much, I bought my own. And uh, when I clean my books out and give them away to share them with people, I never get rid of this book, y'all. I started reading this book and my body was healed of so many things. Uh, and uh, I have witnesses uh, to that. I'm not saying I don't have aches and pains and, and such, but uh, I'm telling y'all, the Lord healed me. I don't care what nobody says. I'm sorry, y'all, my nose itches. But um, he healed me, I'm telling y'all. I was supposed to have been on disability 20-something years ago, and I get out and do everything I want to do within reason. Uh, y'all see her? She absolutely can't stand it because I'm talking to this phone and not talking to her. She can't stand it because she's not getting all the attention. She's very verbal, y'all. Yes, yeah, she is. That's your mama's buddy. Y'all see, she's naked. She's streaking today. She has always got her shirt on or her collar with her little jewelry hanging. And y'all, she got in there in that bed. And she has learned how to rub herself till her clothes comes off. So I've been telling her all day she was streaking it. It's hot here today, so I didn't put a shirt back on her, but she's cold a lot, so I keep up. Because I don't keep my house real warm. It's better for my breathing when it's cool. So I don't keep my house real warm, and uh, so I keep a jacket on her because her little hind legs y'all will shake when she gets cold. But anyway, back to healing. When you pray for healing, don't turn around and mess that prayer up by being negative, speaking negativity. I mean, you you've got to you've got to grasp it, y'all. When you ask God for something, don't don't speak positive and uh, turn right around and mess it up by speaking negative. Uh, words mean so much. People don't grasp that. Uh, I've talked about this for years, but uh, God has helped me through so much, and I've always give him credit for it. Uh, always, always. I haven't always been perfect and always done right and still not, uh, but I, I, I try to improve and I try to do better. Uh, and I, that's all you can do, y'all. And uh, I, I'll mess up this evening and I'll mess up tomorrow. That, that's just a part of it. And, you know, people will see things and they'll be real judgmental uh, or maybe jealous. Some people say it's jealousy. I, I don't really know what it is, but, but they're going to attack you. I mean, you can do 50 rights and do a half of a wrong, and they're going to magnify that wrong. Stop. That's enough of that. Stop. You're going to have to go to your bedroom because Mama's busy. So... Um, Anyway, you can do 50 rights and a, and a half, like like this much wrong, and they're going to get all over this much wrong, and they're never going to tell you what you did right. Y'all know what I mean? I deal with that all the time. I, I deal with it all the time. Uh, I have the best friends that compliment me and keep me encouraged uh, because I've talked about this with them. Uh, but the people... The people that I'm around that you would think would encourage me don't. I don't know if they do it intentionally or if they just think I'm so strong and I don't need it. But y'all, we need it. Everybody needs it. Everybody needs to be loved and everybody needs to be encouraged. Uh, so I challenge y'all to do more of that. Uh, speak kindly to your children. Speak kindly to your family. Uh, to your neighbor. Uh, just to a stranger in the grocery store. I'm challenging y'all to step it up and uh, and do that. Um, 
Because God's watching y'all. He watches what you do. He knows what you think. And he watches what you do. And uh, he knows if you put that grocery cart back at that store. Or if y'all help that person get something off that shelf. Or uh, I'm always, y'all, always put in the position of uh, when I'm at the grocery store, somebody on the boogies that you ride, I'm always put in the position. And I always do it too. And I don't mind. I enjoy helping these people. But, you know, they'll be looking or trying to get something off the top shelf. And I, I help them. Or many times in the parking lot, you can tell people when they can't find their car, these elderly people. And uh, I go up and explain I don't mean any harm. It's terrible that you even have to do that these days. But you do. How y'all think that's looking? Looking pretty good, huh? It's browning up nice. Browning up nice. I might might keep y'all with me till uh till all this is over. I see something y'all on my shirt. I'm a lint picker. I told y'all it's real time. Yes, it is real time with your mama. Your crazy mama. But um anyway, <laughs> stop it. I appreciate y'all watching because I know I'm out there, but this is just the way it is. If y'all were here, this is exactly, y'all would be sitting over there at the table or standing here beside me and I'd just be talking, y'all. That, that's how it goes. That's how it is. But uh, Brimley, she is so jealous, y'all. She's so jealous. So jealous, little girl. But y'all leave me some comments. Tell me what y'all had for lunch. Tell me if you went to church. Tell me what the what the preacher preached on. How about that? That uh, funeral I went to yesterday, y'all, was a Catholic funeral. And uh, it was beautiful. Uh, I did great until he started burning the incense. And then I thought I was going to have to get up and leave. But uh, I made it through it. Literally, I was praying in my mind, and my friend that was sitting beside me, she started sneezing, and her nose started itching, but that's just, you know, what they do. The incense, I understand the meaning behind why they burn it, but y'all, some of us can't take that. Some of us with breathing issues. Incense is not good for us, and when I went in, I wasn't even thinking about I wasn't even thinking. I knew they did that out, but I wasn't even thinking about it. I was just upset, and worried for my friend and uh but we we made it it was a beautiful service and i think he would have been real real pleased he had everything done his way he died on his terms and uh his wife goes home today i guess unless she's changed her mind uh she goes home today and it'll be her first day home without him so y'all remember pam We've been friends since ninth grade. And uh, her husband was a couple of weeks older than me. And she's a couple of weeks uh, younger than I am. But we was all in the same class. And they were married for 30 years. Just had their 30th anniversary a day or two before he passed. So y'all y'all remember Pam. And uh, all the kids and grandkids that were grieving for him. Uh, we all understand he's in a better place and he's not in pain and he was in pain a good bit a few hours before he passed but I think they got him easy uh, and so uh, but y'all just remember y'all just remember them uh, please I, I think a lot of her and her her family uh, she's my she's my sister and uh, uh, you know through Christ and and I love her, and when they hurt, y'all, I hurt. But back to the fried chicken. Look at that, y'all. Y'all better come on. Y'all on your way. Y'all could probably had time to be here by now. Y'all look at that fried chicken cooking up. 
Y'all, and I cook my chicken to death. I cook all my meat to death. I do not want raw meat, y'all. No, 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 no. No raw meat for me. I probably shouldn't have put all this in here. It would have fried up a lot quicker. I probably shouldn't have done this, but it will cook. It would have probably been a lot better. The, the shortening would have kept its temperature better if I'd have just did a few pieces, but that's okay. I got to, I got to visit with my friends and uh, talk and give y'all a little testimony and y'all got to see my chickens and see Brinley and y'all, it is really coming down. I just looked out the window again. It's really coming down out there. y'all. I had to walk away and scratch my nose. It, my nose is itching really bad. I don't know why. That chicken is looking good. We need some, uh, let, let me say, some cheese grits, some biscuits, and some homemade gravy. How does that sound? Boy, that sounds real healthy, don't it? Y'all, did y'all know Ephesians 6.10 says to pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. Did y'all know the Bible said that? As we pray for one another, the Holy Spirit comforts us and strengthens us. He affirms that we need Him and one another. Assure us assures us that we, that he hears every prayer in silence, in spoken, in scribble, even on a prayer card. And he answers according in his perfect will. Were y'all aware of that? Some of y'all were, I bet. Some of y'all were. He hears no matter in silence, spoken, or scribbled on a prayer card. Ephesians 6.10 Pray in the Spirit on all occasions. Y'all, that means good and bad. Good and bad. Chicken's looking good, y'all. Oh, it smells good. Y'all want to bite? What do y'all eat on y'all's fried chicken? Y'all eat Tabasco or y'all dip it in barbecue sauce or mustard or ketchup? What do y'all? What do y'all dip y'all's fried chicken in? Y'all, I love cold fried chicken. Y'all like cold fried chicken? I eat a lot of meats cold. I don't like uh, I don't like to warm meat in the microwave at all. Oh, that's looking good. Looking good, y'all. Philippians 2 1. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to death. Be humble, day. Did y'all watch my video I made about that? About the uh, holidays in February? And Be Humble Day was one of them. 
Proverbs 4.20. Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. So y'all don't be letting junk in your mind and your heart. Because if it goes in between your ears, it's going to go to your heart, y'all. TV, music, everything. Don't don't let the devil tell you that it don't, because it does. It does, y'all. It surely does. It does, Brindley. If you see it, and you don't think it's uh, that it's uplifting to the Lord, you probably should look away. I probably should look away. That's where uh, so many people mess up. Are you here? You know, do these drugs, you'll feel better. And all you're doing is falling into a trap, y'all. Falling into a trap that it just becomes a mess. It, it hurts your family. Drugs and alcohol does nothing but destroy your life and hurt your parents and your siblings, your cousins, everybody around you, y'all, it destroys, destroys the whole family. And that person destroys that person's life. Now, I know people that have recovered, that got saved and moved on and they're doing good and that's that's wonderful but y'all those testimonies are few and far between uh, the ones that don't fall off the wagon <clears throat> y'all it's cooking up it's gonna be good 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 I see that Yum, yum. Y'all, I would only put a few pieces of chicken at a time, though, to, so your, your oil stays up to temperature. Uh, I mean, this works, but that's probably what I should have done. But, uh, as far as time-wise, though, this is about, this is about what it takes, though, y'all. But um, I'm going to end this video. This chicken is just about ready. And I'm going to get me some, some kind of sides started. I see that. It's looking good. Looking good. It's going to be good, y'all. That's our Sunday fried chicken with our cornmeal and flour on it and hopefully hopefully somebody learned how to cut up a chicken or learned how to fried chicken or my version of it anyway now everybody does everything different a lot of people dip it in batters and dip it in eggs and dip it in buttermilk and do all this other stuff but i'm pretty simple y'all i'm i like to be simple in my life i always have um uh, Nice things are nice, but uh, simple things are the best to me. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm right where I want to be. I'm, I'm in a good spot. I'm right where I want to be. I love this little girl right here. I have my, my y'all see Tammy and them still on over there. I'm listening to them while I ramble. I'll have to go back and watch watch it again later when I can listen to everything because I don't want to miss nothing. You know, I don't want to miss no details. <laughs> but anyway, I appreciate y'all so much. I don't know if y'all noticed, but I got uh, quite a few new subscribers the last few days. That is a bless my heart, y'all. Uh, I want to shout out to my friend Calvin. RV living with the geezer. He made a shout out on his page, y'all. And uh, it has really helped my channel. A lot it's really bought me quite a few people over from his channel 
and uh, that's a blessing. And he sowed some good seeds, y'all. Good seeds. RV living with the geezer. His name is Calvin Wright on YouTube. Y'all look him up. And uh, there's other people that helps me, and I mention those in my videos. If y'all watch my videos, I mention them every once in a while. Uh, they've all helped me. They're all helping me. But uh, I probably gained about 50 viewers from his shout out. And uh, I appreciate it so much, Calvin. It's a blessing. You and Blanca. Blanca's his dog. She's a beautiful girl. And uh, he's a retired fireman. And he's good people, y'all. Y'all go over and watch his channel. He's good people. And he's uh, just simple like me. And he does things his way. And that's good. That's good. And I'm happy to have him as a friend. And uh, give y'all one more look at that chicken. I'm fixing to take that out of the pan. That's done, y'all. Y'all be blessed. Know that God loves you and you are not alone. You are not alone. God loves you. And we love you. And uh, if y'all need any prayers, y'all message me somehow. Get me the message. I've got a prayer list. And since the first time I announced that, I've been flooded with prayers, y'all. And I pray every day over those names. And... Uh, um, I do it with a pure heart, with a right heart. I do it believing God will heal. He doesn't always heal like we think, but, you know, if it's God's timing and whatever it is is happening, I mean, that's just, that's just God's timing. That's just God's way, y'all. We can't hate him for that. Um, y'all keep loving the Lord. I'm going to see y'all on the next video. Y'all be blessed, and don't forget to say your prayers.